Hello Aquarius, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time. What are their true intentions or next actions going to be? As always, these are meant to be general love readings and they will be for Aquarius or Aquarians that have someone in mind or in a connection with someone or someone that could be coming in pretty soon into your life. Um, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. If you want additional messages, sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box if you want to check those out. So let's jump right in. I'm using three of my own decks here. All of the information on my decks are in the description box. All right. For Aquarius, spirits, angels, guys, can we get some messages, insight, guidance into the person that Aquarius is thinking about or dealing with at this time? What do we need to know? about what they are thinking feeling when it comes to aquarius what do we need to know spirit you are my soulmate okay strong strong feelings there <laughs> what else what else what are they thinking feeling when it comes to aquarius i'm ready to commit and what's this i don't want to lose you okay so this is somebody that's stepping up or feels like they have to step up i have i miss you at the bottom of the deck maybe you are not with this person so they don't want to lose you and possibly they lost you because of something to do with commitment. Maybe they weren't able to commit. Um, maybe they didn't treat you the way that you deserved. And so it cost them. Okay, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about what this person is going to be? When it comes to Aquarius, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? for Aquarius. What do we need to know? Destiny will help us find each other. Yeah, you you're definitely not with this person. Find each other. I'm determined to make things right. This is a very clear cut reading. We have known each other before at the bottom of the deck. So you and this person have been in some sort of a connection, <clears throat> excuse me, either in the recent past, the past or uh, in a past life. But I think that this, for most of you, you know this person because they've lost you uh, or they messed things up with you. So you had to have something for that to happen. What else for Aquarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? What is this person's energies, thoughts, feelings? towards Aquarius. Ah, I lost it. What else for this person? What do we need to know? Burdened heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. They blame themselves, I think. Wishing well. Your wish is being granted. They, they desire to fix this, that's for sure. Yeah, and have their happy ending. So I feel like they are, they're not doing well with the, with the situation as it is. Walking away came out as well and closed off at the bottom of the deck. I think a lot of you could have walked away from this person or distanced yourself from this person. They could have walked away from you, but I, I just get the sense that this is most likely you, Aquarius, just because I think they lost you before or are about to lose you. And they're, I feel, trying to prevent this from happening or prevent this from being permanent. So let's see what we get with the tarot. Spirit, can we get some more insight for Aquarius? What do we need to know? About what this person's thinking, feeling, what are their intentions, thoughts, feeling towards Aquarius? What do we need to know? I almost, I almost feel bad for this person because they are uh, very determined. This is someone that is not giving up. Yeah, this person is not giving up. Even though they've been through difficulties. Even though I think it's their fault <laughs> that things are happening. Um, they're not giving up. Yeah, I'm coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> So we'll see what we get with the tarot because I feel if, if you're dealing with a Libra, you might want to watch that reading. 
Okay, in their thoughts and feelings, we have, okay, the Nine of Wands, they wouldn't come out. Nine of, Wand, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes. So they they have um they have a long-term plan is what I, I'm thinking here. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, it might take them a while to get there. Maybe right now, they have so many obstacles to overcome. Mainly the fact that your history with this person is not a great one. Okay, and their true intentions and next actions. We have the Page of Pentacles, the World Reverse, and the Chariot. Okay, yeah, Cancer Energy. And then there's the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person, um, they, they want to move past what happened. I feel like they want to close the door on the past and start over. Um, and I don't know. I feel like this is a... This is all well and good, you know, this is great that they're determined to make things right, but they would need your buy-in to do this. Um, and I feel like right now you don't really, you're not very uh, open to this or you don't trust their intentions. Or perhaps right now for them to fix things, it takes more than just an apology. So what's this obstacle situation here with the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Now, for me as a reader, the Knight of Pentacles, when he's reversed, he still makes it to his destination, but it's going to take him a lot longer. It's going to be something where he has to overcome obstacles, and it's just even slower than usual. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Page of Wands. Okay, so this is somebody that wants to just get this done. And I don't know if that is the right approach. They're definitely um, not shy about what they're doing. They're fearless, bold. This is somebody that is ready to take action, ready to get this done, um, has courage. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands and Page of Wands. Tell me more, Spirit. <laughs> the Hangman. Again, I just get the sense of someone who... It's not enough to have an idea. You need a plan. I think this person can't do what he wants to do. If you're dealing with a Libra, you need to watch the Libra reading for um, this set of videos. It would be posted with this one. So very similar energy over there as well. I'm getting the sense of someone that if it, if they had it their way, they would already get this done, but they, it's not up to them. It's not so simple. Tell me about the nine of wands. Tell me about the nine of wands. King of pentacles. I feel like this person wants to show themselves to you as someone serious, ready to commit, ready to uh, give you what you deserve. But I think you're a little bit wary of this person. Maybe you don't trust them. Maybe you wonder like what's in it for them. Maybe you just are tired and worn out from the history you have with them. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. I mean, they're very determined. Yeah, Two of Cups, the Magician, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. They're determined to make things right. That's true. But I think they would need you to believe that or trust that. And let me know in the comments, if this person were to come forward and tell you that they're ready to commit and be serious, would you believe that? Would it take more than just a conversation? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're very attracted to you. Um, they think you are it for them. Oh my gosh, the tower. Tell me about this tower. Tell me about this tower. Wow, the lovers. There's the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're going to probably do something shocking, unexpected to get you back, Aquarius. 
I also get the sense that for some of you, this person blew up a soulmate type of connection. Their own actions led to blowing up something great. That's kind of what I'm getting here as well. But I think for a lot of you, this person, I think they're going to be um, put in a position where they're desperate. So tell me about this page of pentacles. This is what this person is going to bring to you, their next actions, their true intentions. Tell me about this page of pentacles. I think they're just they're going to show up. I feel like this person, for a lot of you, they're just going to show up and be like, we need to talk. Yep, eight, eight of wands and judgment. Yeah, we need to talk. I want to fix things. I want to revive this connection. I want to have a second chance with you. And then here's the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like a lot of you are going to be kind of wary or guarded or resistant to this. Tell me about the world reverse. Justice, Libra energy. Yeah, this person, they want to just make things right. Close this chapter is what I'm getting. I think also for them, they're trying to delay an ending, most likely, as well. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. They're not doing well with the way things are. And so, in their mind, they need to just fix the problem. And then they can move on and not have to feel this way again. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The Hermit and the High Priestess. Okay. Whoa. Hold on. The Moon. Pisces Energy. So this is somebody that... Um, oh, man. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody that I feel... This is somebody that doesn't... Um, that holds back information. The Hermit. The High Priestess and the Moon. Virgo Energy with the Hermit. Pisces Energy with the Moon. This is somebody that has secrets or secret uh, dreams, secret desires, or is keeping something to themselves. So I have a feeling that this could be interpreted in a few ways. Number one, this person is just going to show up unannounced. For some of you, that's exactly what's going to happen. This person's not going to tell you that they're coming over, but they are. Others of you, I feel like this person wants to move past what has happened between you, but they don't want to discuss it or they don't want to give you more information. They kind of want to forget it and be done with it, right? Why go, why rehash the past? Why talk about what happened? Um, and there, there could be a reason for that. Maybe they don't want you to know more than you already know. Maybe they, they feel like if you were to talk about it again, that they would lose you again. Can I get one more for the chariot? Wow, the devil, Capricorn energy. And then there's the sun at the bottom of the deck. I think that this person is a bit like obsessed with the devil. Um, or they they really want to hold on to this. They don't want to be apart from you. They don't want to be detached from you. Um, they like having you. I don't know. It's it's I, I don't want I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but I'm just not sure. I feel like this is somebody that I heard chameleon or someone that is very hard to pin down because for some of you I'm picking up that this devil is just somebody that's like obsessed and determined and you know they're not going to give this up and others of you I'm, I'm I almost feel like this person likes the fact that you are almost like under their thumb or uh they kind of it, it's a game Or perhaps they're trying to hide something here. If they're trying to hide something that they did that that's not that wasn't the best uh, idea. You know, it's like they're trying to hide something bad. Yeah, there's the raccoon and the cheetah. So I I think this person's when it comes to their intentions, their energy. I think that they're most likely moving in secret, making moves in secret, being very secretive and guarded um, because they think this is the best way to have success. I think that this is somebody that maybe is misguided. Maybe they don't realize that this isn't the best approach. But in their mind, again, it's, I'm, I'm picking up almost like a desperate energy. Um, like someone that's been pushed up against the wall and they have no other recourse but to do this. Um, maybe you block them, you stop talking to them, you have 
cease communication, you know? And so they think, well, then that just means I need to show up to their house in person, <laughs> you know? And for some of you, that'll be good enough that, you know, maybe you like that. But others of you, it's like, you're crazy. That's not, that's not the best way to do this. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. I'm getting somebody that I feel is um, desperate to win you back or desperate and don't want to lose you. And so that causes them to just keep making possibly the same mistakes or to keep making new mistakes. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.